Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Claudia Nari, and on here we talk about various fragrances that are in my collection. I hope you have been watching this series. Uh, it has actually been a lot of fun for me because it gives me an opportunity to actually go through my collection and see what I have. Um, and I've been enjoying talking about it. A couple of them I feel like I need to add uh, to my rotation because they've kind of been sitting in the back of my collection. If you have not uh, caught the earlier versions of this series, it is in the description uh, under full fragrance collection. Click on the um, playlist and that way you can get all caught up. But to each and every one of y'all who've been rolling with me each and every day as we have been trying to uh, get through my collection, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will not hold you. I wanted to continue to go on, but I wanted to make sure that you are subscribed, that you turn on your notification, because even though these videos are coming up every single day, normally I post maybe two times a week. Hope you are having as much fun as I am. Let's keep going. Stay tuned. All right, so let's talk about peony. This section is going to be the, my peony and rose. And surprisingly, I think, think I was a rose girl, but we about to find out that I really am. I have 16 rows. <laughs> Can you believe that? So let's talk about the peony first. I have to start off with this beauty right here. This is Pink Me Up. Pink Me Up is, uh, I have it with the peony section and I really could have it with rose too, but I put it here because it has that rose champagne blend. There is some peony in it, but it's, it's like very light. Um, it's more iris and bergamot and orange blossom. It just reminds me of a very beautiful classy woman. That's what Pink Me Up is for me. And Peony in a whole kind of gives me that vibe. My next one is going to be by Perfume de Mali. And this one here is called Melora. And it is black currant, red berries, casa, rose, lily of the valley, ylang ylang, musk, vanilla. Whenever like I want to just go out and I want to be really classy, um, I find myself reaching for this one. I had taken it out earlier this year to add it to my tray, and I really enjoyed it. I put a nice dent in it. Um, if you can see that there's a nice little dent in the top, uh, and I'm really enjoying doing the trays, and I'm going to get back to it for the month of July. Um, but I really, I like this one here. Okay, and my last that's in my peony section is going to be Tom Beachy's uh, Empyrean. This one is strawberry, bergamot, nutmeg, Denmark rose, uh, peony, carnation, uh, white musk. But mostly I get like a bourbon, strawberry, citrus base in the opening, right? And then it moves into like this Denmark rose and peony blend. It reminds me of a picnic, like a, um, a lady going to a brunch and like it's a picnic in a park. Like, it's, it's really beautiful. I love the packaging of the Tamavichi um, and everything. Like, I, I truly do enjoy this. All right, so I want to get into my rose. I had to clear off the shelf, um, the stand, because I actually have 16 roses. And I always say I don't have any rose fragrances, but <laughs> I do. I actually do. <laughs> so I won't spend a lot of time on them because like I said, it is 16 of them. Uh, this one here is another one in that gorgeous bottle. I love the gold flakes. And uh, forgive me if I say the name wrong. It is Rose Amayat, uh, Amayetta, uh, Amayad. It has rose, raspberry, pink pepper, brown sugar, patchouli, garyak wood, um, argyle oud, wood right? Amber and sandalwood. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. And out of all of the um, fragrances from that line, the two that I have, I really do enjoy. 
my next one is fantastic is another one of those shoes fantastic pink my daughter wants this shoe so <laughs> my daughter wants this shoe so bad uh and i might go ahead and give it to her and let her take it to college uh it has almond and coffee and lemon and tuberose and, and jasmine in the opening but to me this is not jasmine heavy i got a lot of rose with it i got a lot of orange blossom bulgarian rose and like this beautiful powdery like backdrop to it and i know a lot of people say all of the shoes pretty much smell the same um I, i'm gonna disagree this one here has like cinnamon amber cedar in it uh cacao pod and vanilla you get the base in fantastic pink a little bit more so it's like a, almost like a gourmand rose uh so the ones that i have from good girl uh there was some variation in them so i was able to say it was worth getting the shoe outside the fact that i really do enjoy the shoe my next one uh and i'm not sure if i've already put this one in a in a position but honestly i think i might have put it with amber and if i did um that was incorrect i do normally put this one with rose because it has that denmark rose and pink pepper combination which to me pulls off more rose uh but like i said going through this uh series you really can put these fragrances anywhere uh in terms of if you are storing your fragrance like i store mine based off the notes uh or the category based off of a fragrance family you can really put them anywhere but for this one here um i do normally have this one with rose uh, because of the denmark rose and the pink pepper my next one is a cheapy but a good good cheapy if you haven't uh gotten your hands on Nirvana Rose by Elizabeth James. Uh, right now, I know the price for this has to be under $50. But it was good. It has May Rose uh, and Vetiver. That's mostly the notes that I get out of it. Beautiful scent. This is a beautiful scent. Um, beautiful scent. It, it's not too smoky like some of the other ones that uh, they may kind of have like this pencil shaving type of backdrop to it none of that this is just a gorgeous rose uh vetiver fragrance so if you like vetiver and you like rose then i say get uh nirvana rose you would enjoy it my next one is c uh original i have c in this category because for me i get the may rose in the freesia and vanilla note and i'm not that big on freesia you know so to say that i have a fragrance that has that note in it is it tells you that i really do enjoy it of course in the dent that's in this fragrance but of course how dark that juice is you know that i've had it for a while and i've been spraying and spraying i am a lover of a broxen so uh i think that's why i really like c um, and I, di I didn't get into C, like, you know, they come out with the, the strong one. I want to say it's perfume or extreme. I'm not sure. I didn't get into that one, uh, but I do have the original C. My next one is going to be C, Passion. This one here, uh, the variation from the original was the pear, black currant, grapefruit, and pineapple note. It still has that rose, uh, vanilla, amberwood uh, type in it that's very similar to the original C. Uh, but the pear, black currant, pink pepper, and pineapple uh, addition to it just made it extra beautiful. So, and of course, I still have it with my rose scent. My next one is going to be a House of Siage fragrance and it is Chavon d'Or. Uh, this was one of the very the first ones that I got when I started to get into House of Siage. It has raspberry, wild strawberry, and magnolia in the opening. But the but the the heart of the fragrance to me is the winner. Uh, that beautiful Turkish rose. Uh, it's like three types of rose. It's it's like and I want to say May rose. Turkish rose 
and Bulgarian rose. So this is a rose heavy scent. Not the old lady rose, right? But it's a heavy rose scent. So you really have to like rose. Uh, to be honest, of the ones that I'm telling you about so far, I would say this House of Siage one is one that I reach for um, probably last. If I feel like I've worn these other ones too much, then I'll, I'll go for this one here. But it's not enough where I'm disappointed in the fragrance and I would take it out of my collection. Okay, my next one is Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper. One of the better uh, um, Kayali's fragrances, in my opinion, that she did. I really enjoyed this one. Um, a lot of them I use for layering. This might be the only one that I do some I do wear by itself. Uh, and I think it's the pink pepper, saffron, uh, Bulgarian rose, make, uh, you know, those rose base notes and that pink pepper saffron blend that makes me really like sweet diamond pink pepper. Uh, so I, I do wear this one by itself. Okay. Let me move y'all up because we're going to. We got a few more to add, and I want y'all to be see, be able to see them. My next one is going to be Oud Sad Mood. What can you say about Oud Sad Mood that hasn't already been said outside of the fact that it's a gorgeous fragrance? Oh my God, this is good. It's sexy. This is a great date night fragrance wonderful and cool weather great uh siage i love usad mood um if the notes if you haven't heard of it it has bulgarian rose turkish rose vanilla argyle wood violet and benzoin gorgeous 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 fragrance my next one, I dropped the bottle and I always say I died. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, you know how you, I was praying, Lord, please do not let this bottle break because I love this one. It does remind me of uh, Delina. I know a lot of people have said that with this particular fragrance, but the meaning behind uh, Triple B for making it, which was for his wife and the note, the fragrance itself won me over. Idola is gorgeous. It's um, Italian, Mandarin, orange, bergamot, French rose, Bulgarian rose. There is a touch of jasmine, but not a heavy jasmine note. Peach, vetiver, vanilla, and patchouli. To me, this is a beautiful fragrance. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Uh, if they come back out with it in a different bottle, and uh, I might end up getting it simply because I, I really don't like the chip. <laughs> <laughs> on my bottle um but if they change the bottle to like the more slim bottles that they're coming out with now then i would i would get it again my mother really enjoys this one so i'll probably pass along this bottle to her if i end up replacing it um but it's a gorgeous scent all right my next one's gonna be pink uh perfume damali this is Casili. Casili is red currant, uh, is Bulgarian rose. It has this plum and frangipani and a mimosa note to it. To me, this is another one of those gourmand type of rose. Um, I like Casili. Um, I really, really am happy that I have it in my collection. Uh, really, really love it. I really enjoy it. Let me move these over just a little bit so I can get this next bottle up. My next one is, you know, I was going to have to have Delina. And I have Delina exclusive. I do not have the original Delina. I like Delina exclusive better than Delina. Um, I think I like it because of the lychee pear and Turkish rose and bergamot opening that's on it. Uh, but I like Delina. I know a lot of people are kind of tired of it right now, but I like Delina a lot and would always have it in my collection. Um, out of all the ones that I have, I, I find that I reach for Delina, but then I kind of want something different, so I'll switch it up. But like a no-brainer, Delina exclusive is my no-brainer. Gotta have it. One of my best purchases that I've made by Tatiana Terenzi, and this is Popora. 
uh, rose raspberry. It has the spiciness to it, like a clove cinnamon. Uh, the Bulgarian rose comes in. There's a myrrh base to it with some musk, like a good, I think it's like a white musk that's in it. Uh, I love the chestnut. It has been, um, benzoin and chestnut. Gorgeous fragrance. Great. Beautiful on. Uh, I always say this is one of the one. I, I have a couple of fragrances my husband really do enjoy, and he really does enjoy this one. Uh, so when I put this one on, he, he, he loves it. So that alone is going to make sure that it stays in my collection. Um, I actually got this one here as a recommendation off of Instagram. I want to say it was Dion. I'm not quite sure who recommended this fragrance to me. I'm just happy that they did. It's called Rouge, uh, Rose Rouge. Beautiful. Uh, Van Cleef, um, Arf Pale Fragrance, Black Currant, Pink Pepper, Bergamot, Rose, Raspberry. Uh, it has that cacao base to it. I would say kind of similar to um, similar to this one here. Uh, but done better, done uh, a whole lot better. I think that it's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. So like I said, I am very happy someone recommended it to me and I end up getting it in my collection. All right, and the last one that I have, I just like literally just got this one. This is, <laughs> I haven't had a good wear on this one. I have been wanting it. You know how you have a fragrance you always uh, have a sample of and you keep getting all the samples, but you never actually buy the fragrance? Well, for my uh, Mother's Day gift, I bought the fragrance. And, uh, it is, I want to say it's Rena de Newt by Viredo. It's black currant, saffron, rose, incense, patchouli, amberette, and a must. I'm gonna, when I tell you this fragrance is sexy, that fragrance is amazingly sexy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, Barretto can be a pricey. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. And that's where my hesitancy was in adding it to my collection was the cost of it. Uh, but do like I do, um, buy decant samples of them and wear it until you get to the part where you just have to have it. And that's where I got to. I had to have it in my collection. So I just bit the bullet and bought it. Not disappointed at all that I added to my collection. And all of these that you see here is my rose collection. Uh, so if you hear me say, I, I am not a rose girl. Remind me of this video. I'm going to remind myself that actually I am because I have 16 fragrances that are rose. Hello, hello. Thank you for watching the video and staying tuned. If you are enjoying this series, put a star in the comments. Uh, today we talked about and I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope that it was interesting to you that I told you of some fragrances that you could get into, that you could add to your collection. But I always want to know, what do you have that I need to get into? What do I need to start uh, smelling? I have no problem with sampling or decanting or, or getting some new scents. So in the topic we talked about today, if you know of a fragrance I need to add, Tell me about it. But on that note, I hope you have a wonderful night and I'll see you in the next video.